from Democracy 2014, where we are asking the candidates in Maryland questions so you can be best informed. And we're joined now by Lieutenant Governor Candidate Jolene Ivey, the running mate of Attorney General and Democratic candidate Doug Gansler. I want to thank you so much for being with us here today. An opening statement, if you'd like. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You know, this campaign is really about who has already proven that they can do a great job for the people of Maryland because that person's already been doing so. And so I'm really happy to be on Doug Gansler's ticket. He's a fighter for the people and he's a successful fighter for the people. All right, we have three questions for you. We'll start first with the Bay. This is something that as Lieutenant Governor, you'll be asked to keep going in terms of cleaning and keeping it thriving for things like boating, shipping and tourism. How do you do so? Absolutely. The Bay is really important to Doug Gansler and I, and he's already, again, been a successful fighter for the Bay. He has been the person who's brought back a huge civil penalty, record breaking, over $4 million, against a corporate polluter that had released more than 25,000 gallons of gasoline into our waters. So that's one thing he's already done very successfully. He's also been doing a yearly audit of our waterways. So he goes to every community that has one of the waterways that goes to uh, the bay and talks to the people there, tests the water, and makes sure that we're doing all we can to keep our water clean and know what's going on based on what's already happening on the ground. So he keeps his eyes open, his ears open, and he follows up every year on the bay. This is really important. And he's going to continue to support uh, our President Obama's efforts to clean up the bay. So these, this is an area he's already made a priority and he's already been really successful at. You no know, big issue for Maryland is that of unemployment. The state's unemployment rate dropped below 6%. That's below the national average here in Maryland. That happened in the month of March. So as Lieutenant Governor, what do you do to keep that trend going? Well, you know, we need to do more to, to end this economic divide that we have here in Maryland. It's something that's been a problem and continues to grow, and Doug Gansler and I want to do more to fix it. So one of the things we want to do for the people who are unemployed, let them do a program called Maryland Works. Maryland Works is something similar to what we already have in Georgia that's been successful, where the people who are unemployed are allowed to work um, on a volunteer basis, essentially, at, uh, at a temporary job. And during that time, they're still receiving their unemployment, but they're getting job training, and they're getting to know a potential employer, and that potential employer, more importantly, is getting to know them. So through that relationship and the job training, they've been able to reduce unemployment in, in Georgia by thousands of people. So we wanna do the same thing here in Maryland. Uh, we also want to implement a, a job retraining savings account, which is very similar to an IRA, where a person can, can have, have a certain amount of money dedicated out of their personal savings and have it matched by the employer and there be a tax benefit from it and be able to use that money for job retraining. So especially with middle-aged and older workers who um, might not be as up on the latest technology, this could be very useful to keep them in the workforce. All right, we go from our older adults, as you just mentioned, to our younger, our younger people here in Maryland, Common Core. We hear about this all the time, complaints from the students, teachers, parents. What does Maryland do with this? You know, I still have two children in the public schools, and I know that the teachers are working very hard and they're under a lot of stress. And this, to some teachers, might seem to be one more thing that is just there to frustrate them. However, the Common Core ultimately is going to be something that uh, raises the level of learning for our students here in Maryland, and that's really important. But we can't throw this at teachers without giving them the proper development training, the proper resources to be able to learn how to implement it and how to make lesson plans that are aligned with the Common Core. So that's one thing that Doug and I are going to do with the State Department of Education is to make sure that, that teachers are getting the support they need so that they can properly implement it. At the same time, not to use the early assessments of the students during this time against the teacher evaluations at such a weighted 
um, amount until we can have everybody be more adjusted to the Common Core. So I think that that's going to be something that's going to help raise the level of instruction for all of our students. All right, Jolene Ivey is Lieutenant Governor running mate for Attorney General Doug Gensler in his run for governor here in Maryland. To see more on this interview and all candidates, go to ABC2news.com, click on the News tab, and then click on the, the Political tab.